Hey everyone, today I'm with my Poro deck. I've been using it to rank up on Master Ladder EU, and I actually hit a pretty high ranking with it. I hit around like 250 LP with this Poro deck. It's actually pretty good, and we've had some pretty crazy games. So it had a lot more potential than I thought it would. I just wanted to make it because Patch Porobot seemed really cool. I mean, it's a 2-3, uh, I'll go over the card in a second. It's a 2-3, um, two drop with a keyword. And that's gonna be fun to try Poros, and they were surprisingly good. I thought it'd be like, you know, a meme deck, or it'd be like, okay, maybe we get a few wins here and there, but we actually had a positive win rate, and it's been really good, so let's go right into it. Three Poro Cannon. This card's important because it gives you two Daring Poros, and Daring Poros are like the most important ones. They make the Heart of the Fluff have Elusive, and it's just really good with Poro Snacks. It's kind of like, that's supposed to be a mid-range strategy, and then there's some like all-in Elusive Poro ones. This one's supposed to be mid-range, I have like Mystic Shots and Troll Chance. I'll get into those cards, of course, but this card to start off with is just as good to give more Poros, uh, especially the Elusive Poros. Thermodynamic Beam, just a well-rounded removal spell. Pretty straightforward. Three Dang Poro, so Elusive Poro. Good with Heart of the Fluff because it gives it Elusive again. Good to just chip in the damage. Uh, it gets pretty strong with Poro Snacks, so that's good. The Elusive Poros card, it, obviously, Poro deck, it's amazing, but it's really good because it can give you um, Poros from other regions. So, Right now we're in P and Z Frey Ord, right? But if we go Poro, and let's say we go all regions, we can get cards such as Plunder Poro. If you get Plunder Poro, Plunder grant me two random keywords. Really good with Heart of the Fluffs. So you can get some crazy stuff. Um, you know, you can get uh, Quick Attack, Regen, Fury. The the random keywords you get off this card and Patch Poro Bar are like, they don't have like weird ones. They don't have like Deep or Double Attack or Immobile. They only have uh, simple ones like Tough, Quick Attack, Regen life, so kind of like the generic ones. But uh, really one really important thing you get off Lonely Poro is the... Where, where is he? Where is he? Porofly. Porofly. I can't believe I don't own this. Uh, at least I don't think I do. Anyways, Porofly gives you Spell Shield. This is amazing because if you can get the Spell Shield keyword on the Heart of the Fluff, you can have like a 30-30 Heart of the Fluff with Spell Shield Elusive. And it's extremely good. And if you have Mighty Poro, even if they have Elusive Blockers, you get Overwhelm. So yeah, it's really important to get the Poro Fly. Um, you, you can't run Targon, or you, maybe you could run a different variant Targon, but P and Z. Uh, Fair's version I went with here has a lot of important cards for Poros, but it is nice you can get like Plunder Poro or Poro Fly from the Poro. All right. And then um, we have Mystic Shot, generic Warranted Spell. Kind of cool, because it can, it's just, you know, two damage for two. You can use it for removal, you can use it to um, try and chip damage for game when you're attacking a lot of Daring Poros. Uh, it's versatile. Patch Porobot, this card got me excited for the deck, because this card's just good in general. There's not really a PNZ mid-range deck yet, maybe we'll see what happens when PNZ gets more cards in expansion, but right now, uh, this card's amazing just as we have deck for it. It's a 2-3 two, for 2 with a keyword, so I'll read it. While in hand, I have a random keyword that changes each round. So basically, you have it in hand, it'll say Fearsome. Next round, I can change to a Quick Attack. Next round, I can change to Regeneration, Life Steal, whatever. When you summon it, it keeps the keyword uh, that you summon that turn. So if you have Fearsome in hand that round and you summon it, it stays Fearsome the rest of the game. But a 2 mana 2 3 with the keyword. Pretty good. Um, certain matchups, like I play against Aggro and they can't beat the Life Steal. Or it helps against that, that matchup. Regen can be pretty good as a 2 3. Elusive 2 3 is really good for 2. So Patch Porot's quite good. I like it a lot. Um, you can also search it off a of Poro Herder. When I'm summoned, draw a Poro if you have a Poro ally. So pretty standard turn would be like turn one, you play Daring Poro, Lonely Poro, maybe Poro Cannon. So you got your Poro's turn one. Turn two, you can play Patch Poro Bot or you play Poro Herder. Poro Herder can search this, that's pretty good. Being a 2-3 also is a pretty good stat line uh, to add on to the Heart of the Fluff, which we'll get to later. Nice card, Troll Chant. Again, it's like a mid-range deck. Uh, this is generically good. Uh, you can use it to win combat trades. You can use it to... I mean, you can use it in all kinds of different ways. You can give your guy defense, then minus attack of a different attacker for a different Poro blocking, and you can try and get like a two-for-one where both your Poros live and kill the enemies. It's just a versatile... It's, it's just a good card. Mighty Poro, very important, because this gives it Overwhelm. This gives you the Overwhelm for uh, Heart of the Fluff, which is... the Overwhelm or Elusive is how you kill them with Heart of the Fluff. Um... My Poro is good. Especially with Poro Snacks. This is probably the best card in the deck. This and maybe Heart of the Fluff. I'll give him that card later. It's a bit, it's a bit weird because people think it's not that good. It, it, it's a hit or miss. Like, you either win the game straight up or um, you, you know, they have an answer for it. But for a Poro to work, you're going to have to try and go for the things like that. 
I mean, you can threaten Plume. It's also win condition. We'll get to it. We'll get to it later. Poro Snacks. <laughs> Sorry. Get carried away. Poro Snacks is a... Uh, very good. Yeah, grab Poro's... Poro again. Oh, Poro allies everywhere. Plus one, plus one. This is uh, the ones you draw later. The ones summoned... Or you get off for like Poro Alice. Uh, this card's amazing. This is pretty much the main card in the deck. I guess I'd say this is the best card overall. Makes all your 1-1 uh, Poros become 2-2. Two, two. Then your Elusive Star Strike for big damage. These become 4-4s. Four it's really important because also Lily Poros are 1 mana Poro that gives you another 1 mana Poro. But when you're starting to get all your 1 mana cards that are trading as 2-2s, two and if you play multiple they become 3-3s, three then just summoning a bunch of 3-3s three like for 1 is really good as blockers and for uh, being offensive. So this is pretty much the main card of the deck. Um, it really adds up. I want to have more of a mid-range version. That's why you can kind of have like Thermo Beam and Mystic Shot and Troll Chant. And you have uh, ways to control the field. You can win by like grinding them out by playing up too many 3-3s three to the point where it piles up and can't deal with it. You can win through Elusives. You can win through just controlling the game by Thermo Beams, Mystic Shots, or Heart of the Fluff. Yeah, Porous Axe is uh, very good. We have Vi here. Vi is just uh, a good champion. She's just... I mean, come on. She like... Uh, She's just good. She's a good mid-range tool because you just play her as a challenger. She, you play a lot of... She's easy to get more attack because you play a lot of one-cost cards. Let's say you play her on turn 5. She's like a 6-4 challenger and tough. That's pretty good. You can kill one of their uh, weaker cards and then get a good combo trade with it later. It helps you answer things. Like, you don't want to have no answers. It's just well-rounded. Troll Chant can make it win a lot of combat trades or live longer to give it uh, stats back when it has tough. Just a generic. It's a very generic card. Uh, Aurelia Poralis. So... One reason I want to make this a mid-range deck is I feel that you can just kind of outgrind them with Relic Porealis. This is a one card, uh, it's just one card, but it, it creates four cards. So it, you lose one card by using this, and you get three. So you get two random Poros and two Poros snacks. So one of the win cons of this deck is just kind of like trading evenly with Mystic Shots as removal, you know, Vi, Troll Shank, it trades, and you start beefing up your guys with the Poros snacks and generating more Poros. And then, like as I said, all your Poros become like two twos and three threes, and that starts to really be hard for your deck to deal with when you have... Um, just one card generating you four more cards. So there we go. Uh, Heart of the Fluff. I originally only had one. I just wanted to have one. I'm running two right now. I only had one because I just thought like, okay, it's answerable, but it's an option. You just have it as an alternate win condition the deck is a one of. It's searchable off Poro Herder. You can even make one off really poor Alice. You, know, you don't need one your deck for that. But it's searchable off Poro. Just, just a good one of that can beat certain matches. But it overperformed, and I found myself really wanting it all the time. I had multiple games where I had like a 30-30 elusive over one versus Shen Fiora and they just couldn't deal with it and I just won. It started to be the point, yeah, I just wanted to see it like more often. So I thought two would help out a lot so you don't brick with it. So you don't, you don't want, I don't know if you want three. But it's search about Poro Herder as well. So you'll see it more often if you're on two. I've never had to play two in one game. Usually when I play, I just win or they answer it. More often than not, at least lately, I've been just been playing and it's been game. I've just won. Um... Because it can get really carried away when you have Poro Snacks on all your Poros. Like, let's say your field's like two Daring Poros, a Lonely Poro, and a Mighty Poro. That's so many stats going to Heart of the Fluff. Easily gets over 20 attack. Um, family games go and stuff in your field. But yeah, really good. This I just want to see more often. So I ended up bringing two, to my surprise. Uh, I've always been a big fan of having at least one in the deck as an option for ultimate win condition. Because I, it's not just like Shen Fiora. You can beat all kinds of Yeah, they're just like Hush and stuff like that. They have that. It sucks, you don't want to play in those matchups as much, but there are matchups where you just play it and you win. So, yeah, even on turn six. So, very good. Battle Fury, this is a flex spot. I don't really know what to put the last two cards in the deck. You kind of need maybe get excited or like, be like, I don't know, there's all kinds of things you could play. But I end up being Battle Fury because when you play the. A lot of times it comes down to being the loose strategy where you have like the Daring Poros, being two choose from Poros next attacking, and then you just kind of just play it and then open attack and then try and kill them. Um, I think it's pretty good. So you don't have to develop a turn you attack with the... Uh, you make your daring poro become 10 damage. And these are actually away at the beginning. So this is a flex spot. This can really be anything. But it's been very good so far. And that's the deck basically. I guess overall, yeah, you have you have the outgrinding them with the Relic Alice and Poro Snacks. You have the Elusive's doing damage. You got removal by control the field down. And the Heart of the Fluff's also in condition of one Battle Fury. As well as Battle Fury. So yeah, I'll see you in the games. Okay, this matchup's scary as shit. How the fuck are we gonna kill <laughs> Fiora? <laughs> Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ginger chest here, I need to shade, I'm sorry. This deck looks kinda good right now. Like, a little bit. Like, I mean, this isn't. Is this, this is good, right? I can't actually tell. 
You know, I'm afraid, dude. Fior every okay, every time I make a, want to make a cool deck, either loses the War Mothers or Fiora or both. Maybe all my decks are just the same style. I like Patch Portabon a lot. He's getting me excited for Victor. Victor's gonna have, like, the whole, like, machine thing going. Poros, play mid range Poros. This loses the spring, for sure. <laughs> I don't see, I actually don't see how it could beat spring. Because it has no answer to spring. How's it going to boost you? The thing about spring is that it gets destroyed by Trundle. Even though Nerf Trundle's looking me good. Fuck! You're a one of. Come on, I, I mulliganed you away! Can't work with this. We have regen? Is regen what we want right now? Is regen. Because I don't mind baking spell mana for like Poros Max. Regen seems pretty good. So we drew our one of. This is actually annoying. These are our bricks. We were supposed to get these later. Honestly, I'll. Sure. I mean, I. You get two keywords? What do you mean? Wait, passing these bonus keywords? Why is everyone saying that? You get quick attack as a glitch? We get two keywords? I didn't know that was a thing. Beep, 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 beep. See, we needed this earlier. Oh, really? I don't think it's going on. It's glitched? Oh, shit. That's a high roll and a half. Yeah, let's do that. We have wind cones, so we're good. Okay, so we're gonna close the magic. Alright. Alright. Well, I mean, we, we do want blockers, right? The question is, we have to discard either a Poro Snacks. I don't want to do that. Dusk Rider. I get, this could be good later, though. Let's just keep Dusk Rider. No. Well. No. Okay. Uh, which one's e more manageable for them? They can't even deal with Heart of the Plus, can they? All right, let's just put that one later. Get that one later. Yo, PNC. What's up, Rari? How's it going? All right, easy. Sweep them away. See, he doesn't know. It's the thing. Like he thinks he knows, but he doesn't. Should I make him overcommit? Let's just chill, let's just chill for a second. Just chill for it. This card's good. <laughs> These look so. Let's go, Poros. Let's go. These look so good, man. Like, you can tell they're good because they're- is that steaming? Is that steaming hot, but it's like in the cold? Well, why is it on the floor? I guess the eating it. Yo, how's it going, Nicole? Alright, I mean, we'll kill River Shaper here, whatever. It's fine. Now every Poro we play is- see, see, the reason I wanted Zevi is that Poro Cannon says draw, right? Or it's a create, it probably says create. Okay, is that- is that different than drawing? <laughs> okay, maybe it wouldn't have given us- Maybe it wouldn't have given us four Poro Cannons, but in my mind, that originally I thought it might. It's different? Okay. Let's go, Negative! What's up, Beaver? How's it going? My stream's so addicting. Why is the jam steaming, but the bun? Did they boil the jam? That's jam? That was frosting. This is jam? I need to put draw another one. Wait, my Heart of the Fuss is going to be fucking nice. We just got this. This broken card. I guess we just play by. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. This is going a bit better than I thought it was going to go. I thought we'd be losing hard by now. I'm not going to lie. I mean, we're probably not even in a good spot. He has a shit ton of cards, but Vi's good. I mean, Vi's just good. Yeah, I wanted Troll Chant, so it just seemed like well rounded. Like, this is supposed to be a mid range deck. I'm not saying it's going to be a good one. It probably isn't, but it's supposed to be a mid range deck. If he sharp sights us, I don't even care. Well, we could honestly just pass and make him lose a shit ton of mana. That's fine. We'll just, let's just do it that way. Because this way he can't play anything or I'll, I'll just play by. Holy oh, stuff. Ooh. Wait, we could set up... Okay, we can actually get a really good Heart of the Fluff here. If we can get all these guys on our board without him killing them and just slam Heart of the Fluff, it'll be like... Super big. And it'll have Overwhelm. Elusive. And... 
Spell Shield. It's far Raga fan. How's it going? Like Spell Shield seems great against this matchup. Scared? I don't blame you. Kind of annoying, actually. Oh, this is a six by itself. So if I played it now, I'm not going to. If I played it now, yo, it's a will. Then I have to go on. If I played it now, it'd be like a nine, a twelve ten. <laughs> so when the game first came out, I forgot. I thought this was a different card. The bigger board. I like fluff. This is a one of. It's circle board. Four order. I thought, I thought that this and Lonely Poro were like different cards, like completely different cards. I didn't know that they were like the same card, it just flipped. And I, like, because I, I didn't know the cards at the beginning when the game first came out. And I couldn't understand the difference between them, I just knew they were both 1-1s. One See, this is annoying, because he's cucking over our shit. I don't want him to cuck over our shit. Well, this would trade, but I don't care about the trade. I actually want to protect this for the Heart of the Fluff next turn. Because, like, what we can do here is, like... It's a, yeah, it's a champion, yeah. We can, if, if this goes through and we kill this, we can play this, then this, then this, next turn. Because we have seven mana next turn. So we go this, this turn, then this, then this. He's, like... He's probably thinking, why the fuck does he kill this? <laughs> He doesn't know. He doesn't know. How's it going, Henry? Okay, alright. Don't, don't be cool, be cool, be cool. Don't don't ruin my plans. Please don't ruin my plans. Yeah, I guess Ursine does evolve. Yeah, that's true. It's interesting because in Magic they have a lot of cards that flip. So neither got that idea for me. No, come on. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, you can have that. Go ahead. It even kills the, the Screeching Dragon. Sure. Dude, he was. Dude, he didn't even know about the real problem at hand. He thought he Bai was just a ruse, dude. He thought Bai was the issue here. That's hilarious. All right, so we play this, and we play this, and we win, right? <laughs> Do you know the poor Bai? I just got told about it for the first time. I didn't know about that until like literally 30 seconds ago. Someone said that. Yeah, it's like if you get quick attack, you get two keywords or something. You can't play Hush either because he's on target. Like, Purify. We have spell shield though. <laughs> Over on Melissa's spell. We have spell shield. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Got you. Alright, this deck's good. So P, I know. It's so broke. See? This deck's good. We're climbing. Oh god, this was like a terrible matchup. On the right side, if we have Poro Snacks like we do right now. Then we actually can um, make our guys out of Wither Real range. This is my favorite. I feel bad not having the high emote. But <laughs> Cut P and Z and run build for Plunder and Zeph to your Forest next. I think we need the Elusive though, with like Heart of the Fluff. They can have different ones. Alright. We're fine. This hand's actually pretty good. What do we have here? Quick attack and elusive. A 2 3 elusive is pretty good. Do I just use that now or do I wait? I could just pass and see what we get. But Jagged Taskmaster? That could be interesting. But I really like the Daring Poros and like the patch. I really want to play Porobot. I think Porobot's amazing. That's kind of the main reason I made the deck because I just like Porobot. Karma Ezreal? It's okay, but they're reworking Ezreal soon. So. Um. I'll just kind of like hold my opinion and still that. Oh, wait! So, how does this glitch work? If I just play it, it gets a random other keyword? Oh, I fucked up. I forgot about the glitch. So, if I play this one, it has quick attack. Can I get a double attack? I don't think so. It just, it just has a second one randomly, like it just has a second one. Okay, I, t I didn't. I forgot. Sorry. The glitch? Alright, my bad, my bad. See, that's some Poro tech, dude. I, I, I forgot. We definitely passed through Nickel Moody's turn. He probably has Catalyst. Is it the boosters? Who oh, no. knows? Bug abuser? <laughs> I didn't even do it. <laughs> I didn't even do it. We don't need lifesteal. Because the curse of sad mummy and something's broken. I mean, do I just Aurelia Paralysis right now? Huh? 
It doesn't sound that bad, I mean. Or we could just play this. Bug apparently, where if you get quick attack on patch 4 oh god and you summon it, it just gives it a second keyword for free. I haven't done it yet, so I, I keep forgetting anything to this. So we have some damage here if it goes through. This is also good against him. The question is do I risk it all? Sure. Why not? Here comes the punch line. I mean, if he avalanches, it's not like the end of the world. Uh, I did really not. I didn't really want him to avalanche, like, though, actually. I was really hoping he wouldn't actually avalanche. Um. Snap concede? No, no, we're good. We're gonna go to five. We're, go we're fine. There are one ones. It's not a big Okay. If that was just five mana, I mean, I would love that, but I don't think most people would. Well, I think most people would love that for sure. That'd be amazing. But it's not gonna happen. I don't think it's a change that that is gonna happen. Regen. So we drew hard with the flop. This card's actually good, honestly. We need spell shield. We need to get the spell shield one though. Is he even gonna attack us? We might be in the heart of the fluff next turn. We need to wait till we get spell shield. We got spell shield. Now what's attack or what's pass me does? Once next patch next Wednesday and notes are on Tuesday. I think we have to send the round. All right, what are, we, what are we working with here? Life steal, life steal. So every t it might be a glitch, honestly. Every time I've drawn patch portal bot, my other patch portal bot in hand has changed to the same keyword as this one. Like when I drew this last time, they both had fearsome. I mean, it could just be chance, but we'll see. I need more data. I'll play daring for you. What's he gonna do? Ruination right now? Let me just like pop off. Why not Brahm in the sec? It's just too slow. Hmm, this is an interesting- dude, I actually like this Poro deck, dude. When Peensy gets more cards, one of them will probably be a Poro card. I don't know about all of them, there's a lot of cards probably gonna get, but I'm excited. Might share some code for a random aspect, hence they changed all the patch. Poro would have the same keyword. Yeah, I'll, I could ask about it, like, another time. Alright, I mean, let's just... Whatever. Honestly, I kind of want to smurf pretty hard, though. I don't want him to rekindle her. He definitely did. Oh, this is probably Howling Abyss. So yeah, I don't think he's like rekindle her. So this is Victor, but yeah, but like just one, though. You know, just like one. Let's just use both. Fuck it. Yeah, I know. I wanted to make this deck like, because patch four. Okay, unironically, this card's broke. Like, not broken. This, card, this card's really good. You think one five Brahma's broken? One five Brahma's the most broken card. Like, fuck that card. That card was so broken. Like, so really broken. All right, this card's insane. It's a two three with a keyword. Like, this card's actually really good. Like, even outside of Poros. He plays that. Oh, I choked. I choked. All right, so we have life still tough. Tough's pretty good. Do you think he'll open attack, or, or like, can I like... Man, I, I thought he was playing Howling Abyss there. The, the Howling Abyss play Rekindler? I don't know what the deck list looked like. Oh, we drew our battle Elusive Overwhelm. Ooh. Poro Guardian? Yeah, Radiant Poro. Poro, Poro Guardian! <laughs> That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, Tough's great for Synovia. This is a really interesting situation we put ourselves in. Don't all Nivia's deck run that, but... I mean, I'm probably stupid. They probably run Rekindler. But I just thought maybe, because it's like... I don't know. I don't know. I thought maybe. No, they probably. Yeah, they they, they probably play Rekindler. Yeah, I, that was really stupid of me to attack. 
I shouldn't have done that. Um, our hand is pretty beefy. I mean, I like what I'm seeing. Maybe we'll just play this and see what he does. It's a 5-6, dude, for two. That's good. Do you think he'll pop the spell shield? That's what I'm concerned about. Well, honestly, we can just, like... Alright, let's just play this one. You know, more elusive pressure, see what's up. Did he pop the spell shield? Yeah, no, that's why. I don't know if he's gonna attack or not. We'll play it safe. Alright. Fine. I think we have a pretty good open attack here, honestly. I I don't think playing this is right. I think I I think we just straight up I think if he gets harsh ones it'd be annoying. What's the punish? So we play this, he attacks, and we lose the spell shield. I think we just pass. Ooh. Wow. This is our third one this game. This is really good versus control because it's a keep teams more options. Alright, so something this is trolling, right? I'm trolling if I play this. Right? What if we just summon it and see what happens? Lose the Renation? Do we though? Do we lose the Renation? I don't think we lose the Renation. I'm afraid of him having harsh winds. I can't put pressure on. You be trolling? Alright, I guess we're trolling. <clears throat> Listen. I, I think he has harsh winds, right? If he Ruinations, then he just loses everything. Pog. This is five damage to things too. So we want to get this overwhelm to do as much damage as possible, right? We don't want to. No, no, we don't want them to die. So let's just take take this. Come at you from ever is All right. I many strong one cost cards. Yeah, like if if he ruinations, I'll just play this and get like a bunch of poros, and they'll all be like five, like four poros. All right. So the kicker is this. This is this is the secret. He doesn't know about our secret. But he has a lot of mana. So let's go either way. I mean, he could even have double harsh ones, technically. Troll chain. Low middle, he's still dead though, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yes! Valkyrie is nice. Okay, we have the list, I think. Alright, are we three? Are we are we even? Or are we up again? It actually worked, yeah. Flash free. Ooh, Flash would have been a really good punish. It's alright, though. Alright. Cool. Yeah, I'm really excited for Shivana buff. I want to make dragons, because if you guys didn't know, I mean, people who are here, like, in their season started, my only goal is to make dragons good, and then Shivana, like, wasn't able to do it for me. For me I mean, I, I, I want to believe I did my best, and it wasn't me. We couldn't figure it out. Patriots are out Tuesday. This is a good hand. Let's just keep everything. Yeah, I think it's the whole extra force. Dragon Ball would be a meme there. Dude, we'll see, man. We'll see. I feel bad not having the high. You know. Your help stuff? I'm not getting my help stuff too much. Sorry, I might not create that this stretch. It's also cool because it can search like. The part of the puff. why I didn't really mind having the one. Uh, because it was searchable. And you can make one off Relic Pagalis. But it seems that the only game we're winning is through that, for the most part. Which wasn't what I expected. Bad up, bro. Get my dad's up. I guys are getting it. Oh, wait. Cap. <laughs> What's up, son? How's it going? Alright, let's see it. Yora, Laurent. Did they reveal the patch notes yet? They come out Tuesday. That is a nice pass. Thanks for still mana for Poros next. We could honestly even just open attack again. What song is this? This is a League song? Ethereal? By League of Legends, pretty light, but pretty good. I actually like this song. 
Um. I can barely keep up. Yeah, I guess let's do this. Makes our heart of the fuck easier. Right? The fate of mortals and spirits mm -hmm. falls to me. Do I just start putting the units on the field? I guess we want to see what we get off this. Ray Fex season you? Yeah, same thing here, pretty much just chilling. We can just start putting on big damage here with the uh, Daring Poros until we can get uh, a Heart of the Fluff set up. I actually should have probably played this. Three. No, what if we just go? We can go wide. I think that was the right play. I just want to go really wide, but I don't want to lose the mana. No, I didn't want to reveal to him I had Poros next, but. That's fine. Interesting. New card, Pog. Alright. Reaching Dragon. What do I think about that? That's the only challenger card he has. I mean, I'm down to do this. Sharp Sight would be annoying, though. But. <sighs> We'd lose so much mana if we lose to Sharp Sight. Maybe I'm being a bit too greedy. If he doesn't have Sharp Sight, though, he's fucked. Yo, what's up, Eric? How's it going? And we can't really risk that, I don't think. Good heart of the fuck. Nice! That's what I'm talking about. I played Sharp Sight right away. But it was kind of weird because everyone. It, it's like. The thing with Sharp Sight is that a lot of decks that were trying to play it, like Dragons, also had Pale. So it was hard to pick between, like, all of them. Or just having played both. Yeah, Sharp Sight's insane. Yeah, I think the best way to get the Poros, the re I don't want to go all Targon. I think the best way to do it for me is just to, um... Oh wait, really? Wait. So if you do this... Nah, no, let's, let's just take it. I guess we can block like this. Oh yeah, I'd rather just get the um, the spell shield guy like naturally. So we're about to play this on six. Could be pretty good here. He might have single combat. That's the only annoying thing. I don't want to deal with single combat right now. Yeah, it has to be single combat, right? Yeah. So how big will this be? Five, five, nine, nine. Um, eleven, eleven. Yeah, it'd be a thirteen, thirteen. But I don't think he can beat a 13-13. Like, straight up, I don't think he has an answer to 13-13. Maybe we just play it now. And then we have the Mystic Shot. Oh, it's 14! Oh, I'm stupid. Wow. Why am I so dumb? Alright, cool. Well, this deck's better than I thought. Dude, how are the fuffs is actually, like, popping off? This deck doesn't have any answers to it, dude. Like, what is he gonna do? He can't even Surge Strike it. It's, it's too much stats. Too many stats. Uh, sharp Sight. He can block it with Sharp Sight, but it has Overwhelm, right? The Overwhelm coming through, so even if he has the Sharp Sight, they still get Overwhelm. It won't kill him, but there'll be a lot of damage and good tempo. So he, ha he can't repost, can't conserve, can't single call. He has to Sharp Sight. And, okay, so let's say Sharp Sight's this, right? He gets 6 defense, he takes 8. That's pretty good. We 8 and he kills that. That's good. That's good. And when it dies, we get a 5-5. Five five. That's good. This card's good. This card's look. <laughs> <laughs> nice! We have a positive win rate. We're like 3 and 2 or something, right? Oh yeah, dude. Alright, yeah, Heart of the Fuck's the way, dude. You need, you need two. Or maybe, maybe you need one, but I think two raises the odds of you getting off Poro Herder quite a bit. 